Coming up in this video, you find out how this little D-Link sensor can save you a fortune when you get a water leak with smart notifications and an audio alarm. Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at the D-Link Wi-Fi water leak sensor. Hence, having a jug of water on my desk not something I would normally have. This is a sensor that will alert you if it detects water. So you can have it behind a washing machine or under your sink or something like that and it'll send you an alert uh, audio and through the phone. It's about 40 quid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, unbox it, set it up and give it a test. So we've got the alarm part, a sensor, two batteries and a couple of screws. Let's fit it up. So this is the actual unit that does the alarm and the sensing. There's the actual sensor plugged in into there, and that takes a couple of batteries. So for this you need the My D-Link app, which I've loaded up on my phone. I used that for the other D-Link stuff. Uh, so let me plug the sensor in. The sensor plugs in there. So here on the My D-Link app, I can add um, a device. So it wants me to scan this now, so I can Next, let's scan the QR code off the back here. Let's insert the batteries which I've done. Wait for the flashing orange LED, which is flashing. So I've named the zone it was in. I've put it in the I've, it's kitchen. It asked me that we did a Wi-Fi pairing, which I've done. And um, we're saying here, this is not waterproof. The sensor is waterproof. This isn't, so don't put that in the water. Fair enough. So I've got the sensor on there. Power saving 97% and let's have a look at the options. We can name, put it in the kitchen, we can choose a Wi-Fi range, we can set contacts up. Okay, let's give this a try now. Let's see what happens. So I'm st going to stick the sensor part in the bowl. Phone's here. I'll put the audio on my phone. I'm not quite sure what the alarm's going to do. I think this should alert you anyway. Let's see what happens. There you go, you can hear that. It's pretty loud. I can silence it through the button on the phone there like that. So I, can send, I can silence it like that. And there you're showing it's got the the water alert on there. And that's pretty simple, isn't it? That's it, really. And there you can see the notifications coming through. Water no longer detected, water detected, and so on. So, the idea being now is I could mount this, wall mount this, couple of screws, um, near the washing machine, have the sensor behind the washing machine on the floor, and I'll get an alert, instant alert, when water's detected. I'll be able to hear it through the audio of the device, and I'll also get a notification on the phone if I'm not near the, the device. I can clear the notifications on the phone as well to stop the alarm going. Uh, I think it's a, a really handy device. Yes, you've got two AA batteries to put in there and, and keep topped up, and, you know, keep swapping over, but a really good way of, um, of being able to be alerted if you've got a problem. So the next question is how sensitive is it? So this bowl here is what I had the water in before and it's a little bit damp in there now because I had water in it before. I'm going to put the sensor in like that. Okay so let's just try and add a little bit of water and we'll see when the sensor goes off. There you go. Hardly any. And this is wet now. There, I've cleared the water off on there. So, I don't know the camera can really pick up how much water is. Hardly any water in there, but it picks it up. Essentially, it's the water's joining the the, the uh, connection to the circuit like that, which is why it goes off. So, 40 quid, nice audio and smart notification when there's a leak maybe save you a, a lot of money in the long run. Well worth checking out. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com. You can get me on Twitter at Dixon. Thanks for watching this video.